you know, part of you'll see in, in our uh, leadership contract and even um, we reference Courage to Care, which is um, a program that we're using to drive a, a really strong safety culture as well. And that starts from bottom up. It's not yeah. we start from top yeah. down. And yeah. so we'll be looking at exploring, extending this to the broader group um, going forward. We wanted to start with the leadership first. Yeah. Um, and then we'll be looking at ex extending it to different um, to different levels across the organization. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's really cool that you're doing that uh, because what it does is it makes those expectations completely transparent across the organization. And then, you know, where we've worked with other organizations that have done that, what they tell us is now, you know, if I'm, let's say, a middle manager, I'm, I'm getting, and I don't know if maybe pressure is too, <laughs> too much of a word, but there are expectations now around how I need to lead both from my direct reports and my teams, but also from senior level leaders. And that kind of plays out as well. So by sharing that broadly, uh, you really start putting everyone on the same page, which is which is really, really cool. Yeah. So and, yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say the other thing I wanted to highlight is when we look at retention, um, there's, a, there's a model we kind of look at which focuses on purpose, environment, recognition, and, and compensation. So these four yeah. areas that impact um, uh, retention and in the center is the reten what they call the retention bullseye but leadership effectiveness is critical in all of those areas and so um, investing in leadership effectiveness and like in programs such as you know leadership contract really helps support the one of the biggest challenges that we're trying to, to deal with yeah. um, in, in terms of retention as well yeah yeah that's awesome. And so as we, as we look to kind of wrap up this conversation, I'm really, you know, really the last question is, is kind of what, what have you learned through this process as a, as a senior leader yourself? And then if there was, you know, one piece of advice you'd have to, you know, your peers and other organizations, other senior HR practitioners around, you know, scaling accountability, what advice would you have? Let's start first with, you know, what, what have you learned personally about your own leadership role as you've been going through this work over the last few years? Well, um, the one thing I know is that no one's perfect. 